today is day 9 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and for today I have taken a basic SQL problem. Now when you look at this problem at the first side it might appear to be a little tricky but once you spend a couple of minutes understanding the problem statement you will realize it's a very basic problem to solve. Now as you can see we have been given this input table and we need to write a query which is going to return the output as shown here. Okay. The problem statement is simple, write an SQL query to merge the products per customer per each day as shown in the expected output. Okay. Now, if you look at this data set as a whole, it might be little confusing. So whenever you get this kind of a problem where you have multiple different customers, multiple different dates and you need to do something. One of the best way to understand the problem statement is to just take, let's say one particular customer and one particular date and then compare it with the output okay so that you will easily understand what you need to do now when i see here i can see that there are data for two different customers so let's say if i take data just for one customer that is customer id one okay and then i can see that there are data for few different dates so 18th feb and then there is for 19th feb etc now let's say i'll only take 18th feb okay so for customer one for 18th feb i can see that i have two different records with the product id 101 and 102 right now if i go into my expected output if i look for the customer id first of all there is no customer id in the expected output right but there is only dates so i am only looking at the 18th feb date so for 18th feb i think i have these are the records right now among these records if i see here the product id 101 and 102 I see that for 101 and 102, only these three records will satisfy. The next three records, 104 and 105, are basically for a different customer, right? So let's not consider that. So if I just consider the first three records, okay? So basically two records from here. So if I just have to uh, color it, okay? So these two records here will form these three records in my expected output right so once i do this kind of a segregation between my input and my expected output it kind of becomes very easy to understand what we need to do now i can see that i have two different products 101 102 and those two records are still shown in my expected output right so those are still there but in addition to that i need to come up with another record which is going to merge these two products together using com separated by a comma right so that means Whatever I have in my output, that should still be there in my output, of course, without the customer ID column. In addition to that, I need a new column which has merged the two records together based on the product ID, right? Now, when I see this kind of a problem, the first thought that comes to my mind is probably I should be using a union clause, right? So that I should have two different queries, one query which is going to return the two records that I need that is taking from the input table and the next record this is basically where I probably need to do some transformation or apply some logic to merge the data, right? So union is something that probably I need to use. So that is my first hint. The second hint is how do I do this transformation? For this, probably in SQL, we have an inbuilt function that we can use, okay? So we will see how to do that. Now, as part of this challenge, you know what you need to do. You can download the data set from my blog or from my Discord server, try to solve it yourself and then share your solution in my Discord server, okay? I will be solving it in PostgreSQL database, but the same solution will also work in Microsoft SQL server and probably other databases as well. Now, to simplify the problem, I'll apply the same filter. That is, I'll check for customer one and for 18th Feb from this input table and then try to apply my uh, logic or my solution, okay? So here I can just tell where the customer ID equal to one, and the dates equal to, I think it is 18th Feb. I'll just copy that. I'll put it here, right? And if I run this, now you can see that I'm getting the two records. Okay, these two records, which I have highlighted in my input, right? Now for my output, I only need the dates and the product ID. So here I'll just fetch those values, dates and product ID. Okay, so if I run this, you can see that I have already got kind of part of my uh, output very easily just with a simple filter right the next thing is i need to come up with a logic to merge these two records together right so i'll just copy the same query again here okay now can you imagine or can you think of a function or an inbuilt function that we can use to merge them together right now one of the function that we can use is string aggregate okay so i can just say instead of fetching the product id as it is i can just put uh, use the string aggregate function so i'll say string underscore aggregate okay then inside that i'll put this product id okay 
so that it will it is going to aggregate this column when i say aggregate it's going to bring this data between data in this column together even if they are scattered across multiple uh, rows okay and when they bring it together i want to want it to get separated based on a comma okay and that is basically going to be my second argument okay and this whole thing i'm just going to call it like let's say products now if i run this it's going to throw me an error the reason is string aggregate is an aggregate function so first of all i need to use a group by here okay because along with this column i'm also using some other column right so i need to use a group by but before that if you look at the error that i'm getting the error is because i'm using an integer here whereas i think the expected value is this should be a var care or a text okay so what i'll do is i'll just use a cast and i'm just going to say cast as var care okay and now if i run this now still i'm getting the error but the error is different right now the error is because it's telling dates should be inside the group by clause right and that is exactly what i'll do so i'll say group by dates and if i just run this now you can see that it is working for this particular date the two values are merged together separated by a comma okay the problem is i have filtered the data based on one customer and that is why this works but let's say if i had multiple customers okay then it would still work probably but i'm not getting the value as per as what i wanted okay because i need to segregate the products based on each customer and each date right so when i'm doing a group by here i also should consider the customer id okay so i'll put a customer id here and now if i run this now i think this is probably right okay if you look at my output this is how i want it okay so now what i'll do is first of all let me keep the filter so am i still getting the correct output i am okay and then here i told you that we probably need to use union in the beginning right because the above query here returns me the two data from the input table as it was and the below query here is basically doing the merging okay and that is exactly what i want in my expected output now if i run the whole query now i'm and i'm getting an error i think it's because uh, one of the rules about using union is one you need to have the same number of columns and one more is that the data type has to match here the product id is an integer whereas here i have converted it into a string right so here i need to do the same cast so i'll say cast this one as var care and i'm going to call it like let's say products okay now if i run this now you can see that it is working so for 18th feb i am getting these three records as shown here okay and now if i just remove this filter so i don't need for this customer i'll remove that and i'll remove this filter and if i run this now you can see that i'm getting the 11 records if i move it up and if you compare this with the expected output it's basically going to be the same okay but probably the order is different so for that i'll say order by and i'm just going to say dates okay and products products okay if i run this i think this is now following the same order as shown in the expected output okay so this is basically my solution it's a very simple problem but it's a problem that you can expect in interview and if you are not aware of this particular function it's going to be difficult to solve this okay and this function is also supported in other rdbms like microsoft sql server and let's say you are using oracle or mysql probably you need to check what is the alternate Uh, alternative function to this one okay i'm sure every database will have something similar to this i hope you like this problem thank you so much for watching and see you tomorrow with another interesting problem thank you bye